steroids, a source of both controversy and curiosity, both on the field and in the gym. But what are steroids? How do they come about? And what do they do? Why exactly do teens use them? There are many types of steroids. The one most are familiar with are anabolic steroids. Anabolic steroids or anabolics are defined as a class of natural and synthetic steroid hormones that promote cell growth and division, resulting in the growth of several types of tissues, especially muscle. Contrary to popular belief, anabolics can be distributed legally through a physician in the U.S., as well as Canada and Britain. They are most commonly used to treat wasting conditions like cancer and AIDS. The use of steroidal substances can be traced to ancient Greece, where evidence suggests ancient Greek professional athletes used natural steroids to promote anabolic growth. Asian medicine had a wide stock of drugs intended to promote masculine traits, not so much for muscle growth and athletics, but for sexual performance. Modern steroids were unintentionally discovered by German scientists in the early 1930s, but wasn't deeply researched at the time. The first mention of anabolic steroids in a U.S. magazine was in 1938, in the Strength and Health magazine. Controversy around steroids began in the 1950s Olympic Games, when Russia and other Eastern European nations' athletes had been found to have taken large doses of steroids. Many of the male athletes had grown large prostates to the point that they needed tubes inserted into their bodies in order for them to urinate. And the women developed so many male characteristics that they needed to be tested to prove that they were really women. From much of the 50s until even the 80s, many felt anabolics were a fake placebo effect. A faulty 1972 study even proved this theory. The U.S. Congress in the Anabolic Steroid Control Act of 1990 put anabolics into the Controlled Substance Act. The CSA defined anabolics as any drug or hormonal substance chemically and pharmacologically related to testosterone that promotes muscle growth. This soon created a black market for the distribution of anabolics, a black market that attracted Greg Valentino of Yorktown, New York. Greg Valentino, an Italian-American bodybuilder born in the Bronx, was believed to have the largest arms in the world at 27 inches. He was an active bodybuilder, but never being satisfied with his arms, gave up bodybuilding, instead making a goal to build his arms as large as possible. He began using steroids to achieve this goal. I had tons of, you know, needles, you know, syringes, needles, the whole bit. And I'm over there reusing needles, dropping the damn thing on the floor, blowing it off, wiping it off, and then you stick that in you, and you get infections, you know? And that's what happened. I, I you know, I wanted to get an infection, and um, when I got the infection, it, it, it starts off, you get a bad fever, the area gets red, soft, pussy. It was like a giant zit in there. It was just loaded with pus. And if you don't do something about it, you can wind up in the hospital and kill yourself, you know what I mean? It could kill you. Using these drugs without clean habits, his right bicep became infected. While attempting to treat himself, he, quote, filled two glasses with blood and pus, unquote. Later, he sought medical treatment and was able to save his arm, even with a great reduction in size. Valentino admitted to being a drug dealer, at first dealing steroids, but soon progressed to other drugs. He was arrested and imprisoned for a year. On January 20, 2005, possession of anabolics without a prescription became a federal crime. Anabolic steroids promote muscle and bone growth. Anabolics fill the body with testosterone. This testosterone can have two effects, an anabolic kind and a virilizing kind. The anabolic effect is what creates the traditional muscle growth and strength associated with anabolics. Virilizing effects include maturation of the sex organs, especially in teen males. Steroids trick the body into thinking enough testosterone, or too much, is being produced. Therefore, the body stops creating testosterone, causing the ends of long bones to fuse together. This is the stunted growth effect commonly associated with weightlifters. 
It wasn't the weightlifting stunting growth in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. It was the steroids being used by these lifters. To this day, no study has shown weightlifting alone can stunt growth. Most anabolic steroid side effects are dose dependent. Teens are especially vulnerable to this, being unexperienced with proper dosage for their body size and type. The most common side effect of anabolic steroid use is elevated blood pressure, increases in LDL or bad cholesterol levels, heavy unnatural acne, and heavy hair and beard growth are side effects among teens and young adults, both male and female. These effects, though, should not be confused with natural puberty in males. Some form of steroid abusing males can be identified by leftover effects such as balding, development of breasts, and impotence. For females, the growth of facial hair and a deepened voice is a sign of current abuse. Detection of steroids in the system varies. Injected steroids may be detected up to four months later. Those taken orally, though, may only be detected up to a month later. Common myths surround the use of steroids from media, pop culture, and simply ignorance. The most common myth is that anabolic steroid users have high mortality rates. Anabolics are used heavily in medicine without serious risks, and no evidence shows health issues from proper use of anabolic steroids. Premature death from anabolic steroids appears to also be low. Another common myth is the phenomenon of roid rage. Almost no evidence proves its existence. Most recent studies on anger and anabolic steroids show no psychological effect. As far as can be proven, roid rage does not exist. Most users of steroids are men around the age of 27. Most do not compete in sports and contrary to popular belief, of muscle heads juicing between bench presses, steroid users are probably the most educated drug users of all controlled drugs. Many men and women use steroids in professional sports to gain an edge and to recover more quickly. These sports include cricket, track and field, powerlifting, bodybuilding, shot put, cycling, baseball, wrestling, martial arts, boxing, and football. Most teens abusing steroids are in high school sports and are males. Still, teen steroid abuse seems to be low. The rate may be as much as 2.7% of all high school students. So why do teens use steroids? The answer is simple. In a society where we place winning on such a high level, it is no wonder teens competitively strive to be the greatest. We must encourage those teens to take pride in doing their best, not at being the best at any cost.